So what does the particle try to do? It will try to reduce the surface area. Okay? Lesser the surface area, lesser are the number of particles at the surface. Why? Because they are concerned by the particles at the surface. Understand? More the, more the surface area, more is the particle. If you spread the whole thing into a big sheet, what happens? There will be, there'll be more and more particles which are in contact with the surface. So what will it try to do? It will try to reduce the surface area. Okay? So to reduce the energy, to reduce the total energy, to reduce the total reduce energy, the, surface area, then what about the, uh, the total energy, relax, I'm telling you, to reduce the total energy, the, the surface, the particles at the surface, the particles, the number of particles, the number of particles at the surface need to be reduced. Now how can you, how can you achieve that? By reducing the surface area. Okay. This is achieved by reducing the surface area. Surface area in contact with, in contact with air. Okay, the more the particles on the surface, the lesser will be your, the, the more will be your energy, the total energy. So you do not want to ha that to happen. So, so when I throw a, a, some amount of water into the atmosphere, what happens? What happens? It will try to attain the minimum surface area to, to accommodate that volume. And the wonder of wonders is, wonder of wonders is to, to accommodate to accommodate some amount of volume, a sphere has the minimum area. That means, if you are given a, a, a particular surface area and you try to, try to, uh, if, you, if you are given a particular volume and you try to maybe put it in a cube or put it in a, in a say, yeah, octahedral or tetrahedral or whatever, then the surface area of the sphere is the least so what will it try to do? It will try to become a sphere. And it does become a sphere. That's why the raindrops are spherical. You get the point. Let us try to do this mathematically. You have say, say a cube. You have a, you have a sphere. You have a, sorry, a volume of a cube in a cube, right? In a cube, I have a volume of A cube. So V is equal to A cube. Now how about, how about a sphere? If I try to put in the same thing into a sphere, let us try to calculate that volume. The total surface area of the sphere, right? You can also try to put it in a cone, right? Put it in a cone of whatever radius and height you want you'll see that the surface area is greater than, what is the total surface area? 6a square. Now, if I want to put this in a sphere of radius r, then 4 by 3 pi r cube is equal to a cube, is it not? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, r is equal to 3 upon 4, okay, I, I'm sorry, 3 upon 4 pi a cube. So r is equal to 3 upon 4 pi cube root of that into a. Correct. So and, and what is the what is the surface area of the of the sphere? 4 pi r square. So 4 pi r squared. So it becomes 3 upon 4 pi to the power 2 upon 3, because this is 1, 1 upon 3 into a square 
into 4 pi, right? Why didn't I write 4 pi here? 4 pi r square is 4 pi into this, right? Now, uh, let me let me use the use the calculator and see. So so I am I am at this. So three divided by four. This divided by pi is equal to this, and this to the power. 2 upon 3 is this into 4 into pi is 4.83. So, this is only 4.83 a square while this was occupying an area. So, I am talking about a sphere. The whole thing contained in a sphere will have a surface area of only 4.3 a square and it will accommodate the full volume. You understand? So, it is no wonder that it becomes spherical. Understand? So, it is no wonder that it becomes spherical. Okay? So, so what happens here, say sand clings, what happens? The water suddenly wants to reduce the area, it will try to become a sphere somehow, but sand is stopping it from becoming that, but it will still try to squeeze in, okay, it will try to squeeze in, okay, mercury forms a, forms a drop, again the same thing. Why others don't form or, or many others don't form, fine, but, but mercury will, will go into a drop, okay, because there are other forces, when, when you are talking about a drop in air, there are other forces also which are acting. See on a floor, it is not only the liquids which are pulling the liquids, it is also the, it is also the, the that is a cohesive force, there is also an adhesive force, right, the, the floor uh, pulling you out. Now whoever wins? Fine, so if the floor wins, then you spread, then the drop spreads. If you win, if your cohesion is very, very high, then you win, right? 